All right, boys and girls, we're back here. I walk around. The weather is dog shit. Freezing my balls off because, you know, I only wear shorts year-round for you. Let's see if there's anything worth a shit. Tune in. Here we go. All right, boys and girls, I got my dead cat on, but it is very windy, so I apologize. First banger out the out the gate here got a Porsche Panamera it's an S model and this one's got a little something different about it yeah you may have noticed it's a hybrid model so we're working with a 2014 right here it's got a little cosmetics on it but for the most part not too shabby this was a Turo so I don't know if it was a stolen one or what's going going on with that but there she is for the walk around. Let's take a look inside. See how the interior is going with this one. All right, all right. Here, I'm gonna zoom out real quick for you guys. Got that wide mode activated. So as you can see, it's normal Panamera S badging and interior as you would expect. It's pretty clean. So I'm pretty sure this one was a recovery or something going on because there's no real damage at all to the vehicle. It's been raining and crappy out here. Let's see what we got. No battery, it would appear. Well, that already tells me the answer to my next question, right? <laughs> we'll go ahead and verify that with the key that's in here. Throw this bad boy in here. Filming with the iPhone today, so it's a little, uh, what do you call it? unforgiving with the dexterity getting around the vehicles working on getting some GoPro stuff going as you can see the keys a no-go they pulled the battery on it or maybe the battery just died for some reason I like the gauges in these things again I'm a big Porsche fan mostly the 911s obviously turbo models but Porsches are cool center console here all the normal so I don't like the shifter like this it's kind of right it's kind of like it's a big dildo sitting in the middle of everything that's i prefer my honda setup actually to that so not a big fan cigarette lighter because fuck them kids and pretty clean car overall i mean seats are kind of too narrow for me sitting in it being a bigger guy but not a bad car got all kinds of fun toys up here in the overhead and you saw the big ass moonroof appearance and then we're stuck with this little tiny it's like half a sunroof and you look at this thing and it's kind of annoying because you're like dude what if that was all open like a moonroof right that's what i would want anyways porsche panamera it's not really uh with no batteries not much i can do here unfortunately but see if we can uh i don't even know if anything will open nope nope we got deadness it wouldn't be on my wish list at all <laughs> if you guys watched my earlier walk arounds from a month or so ago you remember this corvette it's still here there's still uh this ia location is actually working on upgrading to a bigger location so the inventory is a little bit lower. That's why I haven't been back in a minute. I'm going to check this one out real quick. It's a Dodge Ram 3500. This is the diesel. It looks like a 2013. 3500, the big boy. Somebody put a little bit of effort into it. Not too much. Make it a little bit extra. I hate, that is just my pet peeve of all time. When, that, when the tire protrudes like that, I hate that drives me nuts Let's see what we got inside interior is relatively calm and collected no crazy smells that's good this door is a little wacky so that tells me something's going on with the front fender let's take a look ah that would be that all right that makes a little bit of sense 
got a little pushback there after the uh, collision. See if this door works okay. <sighs> Great park job, right? It's like, come on. Come on, get it together, boys. Got your switch hanging and the key hanging. Obviously, with the engine damage, I'm not going to mess with ignition. Overall, pretty clean. I'm sure if the motor's still good, they can get something for it. But that's definitely too much of a project for something that we would take on the flip. I'm going to do a little quick hitter on this Lexus. I can't really go into too much detail. These cars, this one uh, had a very bad day, and whoever was in it had an even worse day. I see bio bags inside, so I'm not opening the door. Check this out. Somebody made some bad decisions or had some misfortune. These are nice looking cars when they're put together. This is a 2015 RCF model. And uh, yeah, like I said, there's bags and bad juju in there. We're not going to open the door. But I just wanted to show the car because I haven't seen this model on the lot yet or featured it on the channel. I think one of these days I need to do some Lexus stuff, maybe hit up a dealership and check some cars out because I don't actually come across a lot of Lexus models. I don't know if they're just safe drivers, <laughs> keep their cars in the garage or what, but I don't see as many of them as pretty much anything else. What do we have next? It's a Shagwire, baby. This one's seen better times. Damn. How did it get that big ass that don't even make much sense. Looks like we lost control into a guardrail or something. This one is a... Uh, wow. Yeah. Here, look. Let's take a look inside. They just said, we do not give a single F. Look how rough this interior is. Man. And it's been raining, too, so... That is a totaled car. Yuck. Alrighty. BMW i3. It's like a 2018 or so it looks like. AKA the BMW golf cart. <laughs> and this one in particular, if you look at the front end here, I mean, it doesn't take much to blow these things up damage wise. Look how thin those tires are. It's like, golf cart style <laughs> probably got in an accident with another golf cart <laughs> let's see let's check out the inside of this thing see what we got inside doesn't look like anybody died with the bumper damage that's good and I would be uh, look they put the entire car in the back seat <laughs> if you haven't seen the inside of these with the panels it's the uh can't really get in too much because I'm too fat. But just give you an idea of the dash of the i3. If you've ever seen one of these things hoopting down the roadway, we're curious about it. That's what the interior looks like. This could be yours for the low, low price. <laughs> Put in a bid. All right, here we go. Blacked out Secret Service Edition. <laughs> So far, so good. Suburban chilling on the lot. That's got some cosmetics, some panels, some bumper stuff. But overall, unless something's going on at the front that I missed, this don't look too shabby. It's a Tidal Max car, so overall, this one ain't that bad. Take a peek in the back first. Should I don't cut my legs open. There's a car next to us. Inside, no crazy smells, no dead bodies. That's good. Interior is mostly intact. Everything looks pretty good in here in the back. Let's give the uh, front a look-see. That was just a bumper falling off to the car next to me. This one runs E85. I mean, it's dirty, but this is very salvageable, serviceable. Oh, God, someone smoked in here. Yeah, that's gross. Let's see, is there a key? I don't see a key. All the good ones, there's no keys. What's going on? All right. Yeah. 
not bad. This one would be up on the up on the site. Literally a little cleanup. Looks like one piece is missing off the entire SUV, so that one probably sell pretty quick. All right, so we're gonna start here with the bad news. <laughs> this one had an oopsies. All right, it's got some things wrong with it, some issues, but it is a scat. So we're gonna do a little walk around for you out here at IA. Legit. Let's see what's going on inside the car. It's got the red interior seats. See what we got going on. All right. I like the little markers here. Let's see what happens when we climb in. Oh boy, we got power, boys and girls. We have electricity. Let's go for a startup, huh? See what happens. Well, it would appear, it would appear Okay, that sound never gets old, right? Yeah, inside everything seems to be functioning. Just need to fix the back ass end of this thing and get it detailed because it looks like dog poo otherwise. I don't know. This one has potential. All right, let's go take a look under the hood. Definitely has the right motor sound. There she is. Ah, everything's good to go on this. Just that ass end needs to be cleaned up, detailed. This should have no problem being sold. All the SRT stuff, the badging. Not bad. I mean, for out at IA, the fact that it's running, and that's literally the only damage we found on the whole car. Shouldn't have any issue selling. Hey, what do we got over here? A little Chevy Silverado action for you guys. Looks like a 2016. Had an airbag deployment, so I'm expecting some bad things somewhere. Rear end looks okay. Tented. Try to get around here without killing myself. There it is. There's where we got hurt. Take a different perspective for you. Interesting. All right. Full deployment. <laughs> Full airbag deployment. Side curtains work. <laughs> That's a check. Otherwise, seems to be fairly operational. Let's see if it uh, has any power to it. Try to get you guys a. Doot -doot -doot. All right, I can't close the door, so sorry about that. Starts right up like a champ. Gonna have to remount the mirror, replace the side curtains body damage but uh the rest seems to be functioning just fine this truck will probably sell all right going back out silverado what year was that 2016 not bad somebody will swap somebody will swoop that up put a little money in it it'll be fine all right, something's missing. I can't quite put my finger on it, but uh, something might not be all together with this car. <laughs> Dang. Damn, these wheels are clean. Those are nice wheels, man. Like, no shit, <laughs> but seriously. The Taycan. Wow, that's 
pretty wild, man. Look, somebody was getting their lift on. Nevada Highway Patrol. See, I'm not going to go inside because it's like all weirded, but give you a look. Yeah, this thing is trash, but it sucks because it's so beautiful. Like, look at these wheels, man. Look, I love, I love that gray calipers. Just beautiful. So sad. So sad to see this happen to cars like this. All right, guys, we got stormy weather coming in. I'm going to call it a day. Got through some cool stuff. Make sure you stay sub to the channel. We got some crazy stuff coming next week. I'm flying out to LA. I'm going to do some cool cars, some nice new trucks, some high end Chevy stuff, maybe a Camaro, some drives down PCH. Make sure you tune in. Till then, be safe. I'm going to get my ass out of this freezing cold weather. Peace.